Hey everyone, welcome back to the homestead. Welcome back inside of our grape enclosure where we're going to talk about how to train your fruiting arms out over the outside wire of your trellis system. Let's go. So as you can see, we've got a small problem here. Our bird netting on top is starting to mingle with our grape vines and those fruiting arms are getting out of control. We are behind schedule on this. So we need to get these tied out over our wire and I'll show you how to tip prune these so that they put more energy back into the fruit. That right there is a red flame seedless grape and I'm going to need to build a different trellis for that, a new trellis. I've got several grapes down there. So I want you to stick around on the channel by hitting that subscribe button to see cool new future projects like that. All right, let's get back to this one. So here is our trellis system for our muscadine grapes. And you don't have to trellis them like this. There are many, many, many types of different trellis systems to use. But we thought this would be the easiest. We did talk about this in some past videos. This is a modified Munson. It's actually a modified, modified Munson because I didn't make it exactly the same as the way they make the modified Munson trellis system. I just got a post here, a T across the top, and four wires. We train the main arms down the two inside wires and hang the fruiting spurs, I should call them the fruiting spurs, outside over the outside wire. So that's how this trellis system works. It hangs here at eye level. All the, uh, all the uh, vines hang here at eye level, so the grapes just hang right underneath at this point right here, and it's really easy to pick. So I have just a few simple tools with me today, some pruning shears, alcohol, a cloth, and these cool, like, rolled up twisty tie deals. I love these things in my garden. They work really well. I'll put these down in the description below. But the alcohol is to clean off your pruning shears after you use them between each plant, so you make sure you want to do that every single time. All right, to train these, I'm just going to bend these down. I'll get them out of my bird netting above my head. They are already getting very integrated into the bird netting above, so you might need your pruning shears if you let them get them out of control like I have. So every one of these is going to produce fruit, and we want to take a little piece of twisty tie, not a huge piece, just a little piece, and tie these out to the outside wire. So just take that fruiting lateral and we're gonna take it out to the outside wire and just tie it to it. It's really that simple. So you can see that lateral that I just tied down has all of these little uh, flower buds in this grape cluster. And this is where the grapes will form. The flowers will form first, they'll get pollen pollinated, and then the grapes will form here. And you can see they're right underneath. And when you tie that, uh, that arm down, it's going to be really easy to harvest and uh, keep these under control, which you really need to do. So this is an area where the pruners are going to be uh, incredibly necessary. This is the trunk of one of our grapevines right here. And this is the end of the other one from the other side. And they are starting to grow together. I don't want that to happen. I want each plant to be separated and just it's a lot easier to manage and keep under control. They are starting to grow together and I don't really like that. So I'm going to take a lot of these. You definitely want to prune anything off your trunk because that's going to take away from the uh, the growth in your trunk and in your total plant. You want all of that growth and energy to go up into your, uh, your fruiting arm or your arms and your fruiting spurs or laterals. So here is something that grows off the trunk regularly. You just need to pinch it off and take it off. What, what I do need to do is come in here and cut back the ones that have already come in from the other side or the other uh, grapevine. Get them out of the way, keep them separate. So here's one of our laterals. Now I, I know I keep using <laughs> the terminology a little bit incorrectly here. This is a lateral. The spur is actually on the main arm or one of the two main arms itself. And that's where all these laterals, these fruiting laterals come out in the uh, springtime. And that the spur is where you will prune back every uh, every fall or every winter, prune it back, and the new laterals will, will come out of those every spring. So 
We've tied one of our laterals off, and this is pretty long. This is probably 15 inches past our outside wire here, and there's no fruit on the end here. So what we want to do is, if it's tender enough, you can just pinch it off, and it's not. So I'm going to take my pruners and just cut the tip off. Other ones that are very uh, tender and you want to get out there, you can just tip prune them like this and pull the tip off of it like that. What that's going to do is stop the growth on the end and it's going to put the energy back into the uh, lateral itself, giving you better fruit and giving you more energy for that fruit production. So make sure you do that. You don't want your grapes or muscadines, as these are, uh, to get out of control. As you can see, some of these laterals have actually already attached themselves to the outer wire naturally by, with these uh, tendrils. And I'm going to leave those alone. There's absolutely nothing that I need to do with that one except to pinch or tip prune the end of it. Now another thing you're going to have to prune are these extra shoots that come off of your arms. They are not in the same uh, area. They didn't come off your, your spur that you prune in the fall. They came off a completely different area of the arm. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of those off. Now some of those are all right and we're going to let them fruit. Uh, but if they're growing in a completely odd direction, like back into the inside of your system, instead of kind of being on this side and hanging on the outside, this one I think is okay because I can bend it down and tie it to the outside wire. But like the one right behind it, if you can see that, the one right behind that is growing in the opposite direction. And you don't want that to happen because it's just a pain in the butt. And it, to keep your... Uh, Vines nice and clean and easy to prune and easy to take care of and manage during the season and easy to pick. Uh, you want something that's, that's really um, trimmed up, pruned up nice, symmetrical, and, um, and really is easy to work with. So get those out of there. So let's show you, this is the, one of the main fruiting arms. This is the spur we pruned last year. We pruned it back to uh, either two to three buds, I can't remember whichever one uh, and we did on this one, but you, as you can see we've got one fruiting lateral, two fruiting laterals, three fruiting laterals coming out of this one spur here that we've pruned. And that is how you multiply your fruit production. And we want to do these spurs every six inches or so. Some are a little closer depending on where they were. Uh, some are you want to put your fist in between and this one's a little tight a little too close but no big deal this one next to it shot off one two off of it so right as you can see we've got five little fruiting laterals that will lay out over this outside wire over here that will produce fruit and hang fruit down if you have any questions, we want to help you out with them. So don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below and subscribe to the channel. And now I want you to watch these videos right here, which is our series on how to train grapevines. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.